Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part six, and that we'll see the innings ten point two, and few questions were left from this innings. So we'll continue with this that questions today. So we'll start with question number eleven. An aeroplane takes twenty hours to complete a journey flying at an average speed of seven hundred and eighty kilometer per hour. Find the time taken for the same journey if it flies at an average speed of eight hundred kilometer per hour. So the speed one that is here seven hundred and eighty kilometer per hour. The time one that is twenty hours. So the speed two is eight hundred kilometer per hour. So we can write here speed one into time one that will be. Speed two into time two, so here we can write here speed one that is seven eighty, time two that is twenty, and this will be the speed two that is eight hundred, and we have to find out time two. So this will be same here. This will change the place that will go in the denominator. This will stay the same. So now this and this goes off. Two ones are two four. So this and this we can cancel. This and this we can cancel. Two ones are two fours are, and here what we can see now, seventy eight divided by four that will be nineteen point five hours. That will be time two. So we have to write this one, the time taken for the same journey at a speed of eight hundred kilometer per hour is nineteen point five hours. So now here, there is enough food for twenty animals on a farm. For six days, if ten, see here, more animals are added to the farm, how long will the food last? So you have to read this question carefully. So now, see first of the number of animals that is one, we can say that is twenty. So the time one that is six days, and they here they said if ten more animals are added to the farm. So initially it was twenty. So number of this one animals two will be twenty plus the ten are added. So this is going to be thirty. So this is the important step. So we can write a number of animals into time one is number of animals two into time two. So now we have will be twenty. This will be six. This is going to be thirty, and this is going to be time two. So here will be twenty into six and divided by thirty that will be time two. So this will be. Three ones are three twos are so that is going to be four days. So that will be four days is time to so we can write here the food will last for four days. Working four hours a day, a typist can type out a manuscript in fifteen days. How many day hours a day should she work in order to finish the manuscript in eight days? So now hours one that is how much is given that is four hours hours a sorry. Four hours a day, per day that is given. Then days one, that is fifteen days, and for days two, how many? That is eight days. We can write here. So again, here we are going to write hours one into days one. That is hours two into days two. So this will be four will be here. This fifteen will go here. We don't know the hours two, and this eight will go in place of this one. So this is the same. This will go in the denominator, and this will be asked to. So now will be four ones are four twos are. So this will be fifteen by two. When you divide it, you can see fifteen divided by two. So that is going to be seven point five hours per day. So the typist should work. We can we can write this one. This we have to write it. The typist should work seven point five hours a day. So atmospheric pressure at any given place varies inversely as the height of the place above sea level. At a place five thousand meter above sea level, atmospheric pressure is found to be zero point fifty five units. Find the atmospheric pressure at the summit of Mount Everest with a height of eight thousand eight hundred meter. So pressure one that is given as zero point fifty five units, height one that is five thousand meter. And the height two is given as eight thousand eight hundred meter. So pressure one into height one that will be pressure two into height two. So this we are going to put it here. 
this here so we don't know the pressure too and this will be here so this will be in the numerator and this will go in the denominator that could be pressure too so now here look at this one this and this we can cancel out so when you multiply this into this one that is should be 27.50 divided by 88 so now if since we are not using the calculator here so what we can do for this one now see here there are after we, whenever we have a decimal we have to go in the from the right to the left this is the right and this is the left so from right to left there are two numbers and then a decimal so what are you going to do you are going to write this number without a decimal that will be 2750 and you are going to put two zeros you are going to put one and this two zeros you are going to put because the numbers are the decimal is after two numbers so two zeros if the decimal is after three numbers you will put three zeros so this is for this we can write this part and the denominator let us write the same so now this is the numerator and this divided by 88 means 88 means that will be 88 divided by one so what you are going to do the denominator you are going to flip over so what will happen when you flip over that will be 1 by 88 so hope this step is clear to you so now what will you do this and this gets cancelled so we can uh, otherwise we can do one thing this way we can multiply first let us write this one this together and then we can cancel out the zero and when you divide this one see here now this is a smaller number you can use like this 275 and this is divided by 888 it is a bigger number so what are you going to do you are going to put here one zero so since you are putting here one zero oh sorry uh, yes when since you are putting here one zero that should be zero point here so that will be whatever you can just check it so 88 883 is so that will be uh, 2 24 25 26 2 6 4 0 and you can just check 1 1 0 and then you will keep on doing it so i have done this one before so it is 0 0.3125 pressure 2 so you can divide and see so now we can write here the atmospheric pressure at the summit of mount everest is approximately 0 0.3125 units so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you